All right, so today I'm gonna to talk about layer shift. So not all layer shift may necessarily look like the example that I'm showing you here. Uh, this just happens to be a very, very clean layer shift. And I'm gonna get through all the various reasons why layer shift can occur. But as I mentioned, it may not necessarily look like this. This actually looks really good. It could look something like this. So, and I'll explain to you uh, during this video how it is that this came to happen. This one I did on purpose, and this one here was just a consequence of bad settings. So some of the items that I'm gonna to cover today are going to be mechanical issues, electrical issues, and software issues and i'll go through it step by step so the very first thing is to make sure that your print nozzle fasteners are tightened because you can end up with something that is going to be halfway in between these two extremes to avoid layer shift you want to make sure that your printer is sitting on something that is solid and stable and as you can see i've got mine set up here on a bar in my basement this is the main beam from an old farmhouse in the area so this is is very very solid and stable so i've heard people talking about hearing funny sounds out of their printer in the sense of grinding etc so grinding usually means that something is jammed and so the stepper motor is trying to move but something's blocking its path or there's too much load on the stepper motor so i just held the bed to give you an example of the noise that it could make if you're hearing that there's something wrong you want to stop and investigate you'll see below that i forced a pretty severe layer shift and they won't all necessarily be as clean as that. But one of the things that can cause it is if you have too much tension on these rollers. And I have a video that shows exactly how to adjust the eccentric nuts on these rollers so that you'll get it just right. There won't be any play of the print head moving around and it will be easy for the stepper motor to be able to handle the load of moving the print head back and forth. That falls true for all of the axes on this printer. So mechanically speaking, you're going to be wanting to go through and make sure the belts are tensioned correctly after you've adjusted all of the rollers on all of the axes, X, Y, and Z. So if you have the rollers adjusted properly, meaning that there's not too much load, that could be something that would resolve your issue the next item that you want to do is make sure that you've got the tension set correctly on the belt after that you want to start to look at the drive pulley does the drive pulley stick slip there's a set screw on this drive pulley and you want to make sure that it is tight and that there is no stick slip on that pulley because that will give you layer shift uh, potentially multiple layer shift so it could end up looking like a, a real mess once it's done. So every axis has some form of limit switch and you may not be able to see that very well, but that limit switch is right there. Every time the plate, build plate will home, it's gonna come and hit that limit switch. If that limit switch isn't working, the plate will be driven into basically some form of end stop and you will hear the stepper motor grinding away trying to home and it can't reach home that switch being activated is what tells the processor your home stop driving this stepper motor so the grinding that you're hearing is a stepper motor skipping steps electrically it is very simple to go from motor to motor and ensuring that the connectors are well placed into the connection to the stepper motors so if you follow the cables and make sure that none of them have been getting rubbed or being moved back and forth where you could end up with a breakage in the connection where it's basically not getting a consistent connection, that is another place where you could be starting to get uh, messy prints, you could be getting uh, layer shift, etc. So that's something that you want to do electrically. Software wise, you want to make sure that the acceleration is not set too high on this motor. So I'm doing this on an AnyCubic Cobra Go. So I know that the maximum acceleration that I've got mine set to is 500 millimeters per second. If I go above that, 
the stepper motor has difficulties to be able to shift this plate back and forth quickly. And if it's trying to accelerate too quickly and the load is too high, what will happen is, is that it will skip steps and you'll end up with the situation that I showed before of the motor. You're going to hear a little bit of grinding and you'll end up with something like this. So that's an example of where the acceleration was set too high and it was trying to throw the bed back and forth uh, too quickly using that acceleration and it could not. So it started skipping steps. I could hear a little grinding and this is the pattern that I ended up with. This happened during the time that I was testing out the Prusa slicer and the acceleration settings were set way too high for this Cobra Go. Another slicer setting that you want to keep an eye on is the jerk setting. And depending upon how you've got your slicer set up, you may not necessarily be able to easily see the jerk settings, but that is something as well that you want to limit. You want to keep the values down because if you allow the stepper motor a high level of jerk, then it's again the same situation where you could end up uh, skipping steps and skipping steps will lead to shifted layers. The last reason I'm gonna talk about today is if you're just trying to print too fast. Sometimes you need to slow things down a little bit. It could, that could be the issue. So if you don't have the printer on a solid base and you're trying to go too quickly, then you're going to potentially have your parts oscillating as you're trying to print them. So it won't necessarily look as clean as the layer shift that I've shown you, but it could lead to very messy edges and finishes, etc. So sometimes you just need to slow down. I hope you enjoyed the video and if it was helpful, please consider subscribing and liking. Here are a few reference videos that might help you out. Happy printing.